Hello everyone, welcome to the last part of the NOOC Inverted Methodologies. This part is focused on open education philosophy that emphasizes the sharing and co-creation of educational resources, knowledge and information. The open education paradigm is discussed focusing on the open educational resources OERs, and their features as well as the issues related to their distribution, adoption, reusing and remixing to increase access to high quality educational materials for every student are. The Creative Commons open licenses that permits no cost access to OERs and their use, adaption and redistribution by others with no or limited restrictions are also discussed. The last part of the module presents some repositories, open educational platforms and communities that facilitate finding, collaboration and co-creation of OERs. These following topics will be discussed. Students will understand and will be able to explain the nature of open educational resources, including their characteristics and principles. Students will be able to distinguish the OERs from other free educational resources. Students will develop knowledge of open licensing and be able to use teaching, learning and research materials that are covered by Creative Commons licenses effectively and correctly. Students will acquire familiarity with online storage spaces, accessible educational websites and groups that enable exploration, teamwork and co-creation of open educational resources. Open education refers to a movement aimed at making educational resources and materials more freely available and accessible for everyone. This includes Open Educational Resources, OERs, which are educational materials that are available for free and can be used, shared and modified by anyone. OERs include a variety of educational resources such as textbooks, lecture notes, presentations, videos, podcasts, quizzes and interactive simulations, among others. These resources are typically licensed under open licenses, such as Creative Commons licenses, which allow others to use, remix or distribute the materials without having to ask for permission. The use of OERs has several benefits, including affordability. OERs reduce the need to create new learning materials from scratch, reduces the cost of education, making it more accessible for all students. Customization OERs can be adapted and modified to suit the specific needs of learners and educators. Collaboration OERs foster collaboration and sharing among educators, which can lead to the development of better educational resources. Accessibility OERs can be accessed by anyone with an internet connection, making education available to a wider audience. Overall, open education and OERs have the potential to revolutionize the way we teach and learn, making education more equitable and accessible for everyone. OERs are licensed in a manner that permits free and everlasting usage of the 5R activities originally formulated by David Willey as follows. Reuse. Content can be reused in its unaltered original format, the right to use the content in a wide range of ways. In a class, in a study group, or on a website, in a video. Retain. Copies of content can be retained for personal archives or reference, the right to make own and control copies of the content, that is, download, duplicate, store and manage. Revise. Content can be modified or altered to suit specific needs, the right to adapt, 
adjust, modify, or alter the content itself, that is, translate the content into another language. Remix Content can be adapted with other similar content to create something new. The right to combine the original or revised content with other material to create something new. Incorporate the content into a mashup. Registry Rebuild Content can be shared with anyone else in its original or altered format. The right to share copies of the original content, your revisions or your remixes with others. Give a copy of the content to a friend. OERs offer several other benefits for the educators and students. Expanded access to learning. Students anywhere in the world can access OERs at any time and they can access the material repeatedly. Scalability. OERs are easy to distribute widely with little or no cost. Augmentation of class materials. OERs can supplement textbooks and lectures where deficiencies in information are evident. Enhancement of regular course content. For example, multimedia material such as videos can accompany text. Presenting information in multiple formats may help students to learn the material more easily. Quick circulation. Information may be disseminated rapidly, especially when compared to information published in textbooks or journals. Quick availability of material may increase the timeliness and or relevance of the material being presented. Less expense for the students. The use of OERs instead of traditional textbooks or course packs, etc. can substantially reduce the cost of course materials for students. Less expense for the university. In times of budget cuts, libraries and departments are trying to decrease cost, but increased availability. OERs are a way of expanding access to material without the cost. Showcasting of innovation and talent. A wide audience may learn of faculty research interests and expertise. Potential students and donors may be impressed and student and facility recruitment efforts may be enhanced. Ties for alumni. OERs provide an excellent way for alumni to stay connected to the institution and continue with a program of lifelong learning. Continually improved resources. Unlike textbooks and other static sources of information, OERs can be improved quickly through direct editing by users or through solicitation and incorporation of user feedback. Instructors can take an existing OERs adapted for a class and make modified OERs available for others to use. The main differences between open educational resources and other products that are often mistaken for OERs such as free online resources under copyright license and open access articles and monographs are that the OERs are modifiable while it is not enforced for the copyright protected materials, while for the open access resources a special permissions are needed. Criteria for selecting OERs Accuracy Resource presents accurate information about major errors, omissions and spelling mistakes and typos. Relevance Information addresses one or more learning objectives. Production quality Information is clear, understandable, easy to navigate and of high quality for the video and audio resources. Accessibility. The resource is available in alternative formats and for audio and video there is a transcript or subtitles. Interactivity. The resource encourages active learning and class participation and provides opportunities for students to test their understanding of the material such as, for example, a video with embedded questions. Licensing. 
reusing, modification or adoption of the material is allowed by the license. When an author creates content, it is automatically copyrighted as all rights reserved, even if there is no copyright symbol displayed. To grant permission to others to reuse, remix, review and redistribute materials, the copyright holder must apply for an open license. OERs are licensed under Creative Commons CC, creates a summer rights reserved model. The copyright owner retains copyright ownership in their work while allowing certain uses of their work by the public. There are four licenses elements which are mixed to create the following six CC licenses. CCBU license allows commercial and non-commercial use. Under this license, you can copy, adapt, modify, redistribute, publish, display, publicly perform or communicate the work and license to others. CCBUSA under this license you can copy, adapt, modify, redistribute and license the resource to others on the same terms as the original work. CCBUND license allows for commercial and non-commercial redistribution of your material as long as it is passed along unchanged and in whole with credit to you. The material could be included in, the, in other more complex materials but may not be translated or modified without your permission. CCBUNC allows others to remix, edit and build on your work for a non-commercial purpose and although new material must also credit you and be non-commercial, derivative works may not be licensed under the same terms. CCBUNCSA allows only non-commercial use and lets others remix, edit and build upon your work without requiring them to give you attribution or license their derivative works the same way. CCBU and CND is the most restrictive license that allows others to download your work and share it with others if they credit you, but they can change it in any way or use it commercially. There are four easy steps an instructor can take when looking for open content. Step 1. Identification of the keywords related to the course topic and its learning objectives. Step 2. Searching for OER repositories and aggregators for any relevant resources. Step 3. Reviewing the located resources, considering the criteria for selection. Step 4. Reflecting the discovered materials. The discovery of relevant CC licensed open educational resources could be done via Google's advanced search options or via featured search in YouTube. Please access the interactive presentation searching CC licensed content to make use of these methods via the link is presented on the screen or find the resource in the collection of OER published on the init project website. The OER discovery process can be more efficient and faster if a MetaFinder engine is used. MetaFinder is an online tool that performs a simultaneous search across collections of OER. Some of the most popular OER MetaFinders are Internet Archive, library collection of OER occupies 99 plus petabytes of server space. It provides free access to researchers, historians, scholars, people with print disabilities and the general public. LibreText is a multi-purpose platform that allows for the creation, remixing and storing of all openly licensed and public domain content. Mason OER MetaFinder conducts a real-time, simultaneous search 
across 21 different sources of open educational materials. Merlot provides smart search in collections of free and open online teaching, learning and support materials as well as content creation tools primarily addressed to the faculty, staff and students of higher educational institutions. Openly Available Sources Integrated Search Oasis is a tool that searches open content from 98 different sources and makes the searching process easier. Open Research Library ORL is a platform providing access to more than 20,000 open access books. OERTX Repository is a public digital library of open educational resources for higher education. Collaboration platforms are open connected structures that allow information to flow freely among all involved users and facilitate them to work jointly. Collaborative activities engage the participants either directly or remotely through online tools. As good examples of platforms that facilitate collaboration and OER co-creation can be mentioned. Open Learn Create is an innovative platform where individuals and organizations can publish their open content, open courses and resources. It is module based and has tools for collaboration, reuse and remixing. Open Education Consortium OEC is a non-profit global member-based network of open educational institutions and organizations that work to build capacity to find, reuse, create and share OER, develop open policy, create sustainable open education models and enable international collaboration and innovation. OER Commons is a platform that fosters collaborations between reputable content suppliers and innovative OER users and reusers. From a single point of access in OER Commons, users can search, browse and evaluate resources in OER Commons growing collection of over 50,000 high quality OER. Electronic Platform for Adult Learning in Europe, ePAL, is a multilingual open membership network of adult learning professionals from around Europe, including adult educators and trainers, guide and support personnel, researchers and academics, and policymakers. ePAL allows members to interact with and learn from colleagues all around Europe through big postings, forums and a partner search tool in addition to real events. ePAL provides a wealth of high quality, accurate information and OER relevant to adult learning practitioners. Thank you for your commitment.